Woohoo! 75 degree day. And I just brought the flex out. And did some hosing to it. I actually just hosed the dust off of it. It wasn't really dirty, but it just sat here for a few days and got a quite collection of dust on it. Kind of shammied it. Didn't have anything else to make a video of today. This is a, let's see, a 23 year old chamois. I bought this in 1992. I actually bought this before I got a driver's license. It used to be yellow and it was just used so much it actually faded to white and it got washed in some laundry. Now it's pink. It's all tattered, torn. This actually was in a, in a tube. It was an absorber is what it was. You can still get them. I think I paid like $12.99 for it at Rose's. In fact, I remember when I bought it still. It was July 1992. Anyway, enough about the chamois. <sighs> taking it to the dealership tomorrow. They're going to look at the AC. Actually, they've already looked at it, and I'm supposed to bring it back because they're going to run a black light over the system to check it for leaks. Uh, hopefully they don't find any. I think they've got it. Pro I think they have the problem taken care of anyway. <sighs> okay. Oh, yeah, something else. I've been aiming to show you this for a while. Uh, there were some people that were asking about how the grill installed. Okay, so I am going to show you. Go ahead and pull the hood release. Okay, the factory grill, you can see the framework for the factory grill still in there. Once you get it out, uh, you take this screw off and this screw off and the whole thing comes forward. So you can get the Ford Oval out of it. And the new grill sits in, there's two tangs here in the bottom that slide in. Uh, while that's apart, there is a hole here and a hole here that I drilled. And it actually goes all the way down through the front here because if you can look, you'll see a screw here and there is a screw there. And that screws into the grill framework. Um, this would probably be, be easier to do with the entire grill out, frame and all, but I'd done it in the vehicle. And once you get that done, uh, I drilled two holes down in here. You can see there's two pins, uh, two push pins. They came with the grill. Uh, I pushed those in, then those, and those. <clears throat> it took me about three hours to figure out exactly how I was going to get this grill in. <coughs> and the lower inserts were a nightmare uh, because there's two tabs that bolt onto the back of it that you have to reach in behind all the existing uh, transmission cooler and the condenser and all that. That was a nightmare. But the end result was well worth it. I really like it and rather unique because here in town Mine is the only one with this tile with this type type of grill in it. I had thought about going with a 13 and 14 grill. It's got the grill that starts, it's got the one bar that starts on each side of the parking lights. But all that was going to be some major money. And all this was just cheaper anyway. Okay, 
Well, anyway. I think I'll roll my water hose up and call it a day. Okay, thanks for watching.